Hi Aries, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that everything is well with you at this time. If you are new, welcome, and if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued love and support. Aries, this is going to be your August mid-month or end of the month love reading. I'm so sorry, um, but I had not actually posted the fire signs just yet. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a general reading, so please only take the messages if they resonate with you. Keep in mind that your free will and the free will of your person is what will determine the outcome in your situation. If you are interested in booking a personal reading or if you would like to leave a donation to my channel, all of that information can be found in the description box below. Aries, what I want to say, uh, just looking at some of the cards that I've noticed in the pre-shuffle here is that some of you could be um, going through a breakup. You know that there is about to be a breakup or you've already come out of some type of situation. I am seeing um, for some of you, obviously, like a marriage or a long-term committed relationship here. The Ten of Wands is here. Um, I feel like a lot of you, there's a situation that you've been trying to work on for a long time. Because I saw the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords. I feel like at this point, someone is changing their perspective about the situation. And um, sometimes, you know, people tend to think that walking away from a situation is failure. But I think that some of you, you're getting a lot of mental clarity a lot of even spiritual downloads about a situation and you're realizing that yeah here something has possibly come to an end for some of you this could be a marriage that is coming to an end or a very long-term committed relationship here i mean the emperor and the empress came out that's not this is is rare that i see these two cards come out together like this but the death card is here and the ace of swords so again this is i feel something very major these are all majors here this is um what is this in the tower yeah some of you this is like seriously um conflict five of wands the chariot card is poking out here some of you just just straight up this is a um this is like the ending of a situation uh, this is a serious breakup. Some of you, you definitely may have kids with this person or live with this person, but there's been a lot of chaos, conflict, or confusion in the situation. Someone finally knows for a sure fact that they are ready uh, to leave a connection here so that there could be a transformation. Okay, now for some of you, there, this could possibly be you reconciling with someone. I'm going to clarify because I'm getting a lot of different things here. I feel like the energy, honestly, is split. Some of you... Honestly, I'm seeing where this could possibly be a reconciliation after a lot of conflict and chaos. But for some of you, this is an ending. Let's clarify this death card. Why is the death card here, Spirit? Okay. The Queen of Cups and the Magician card. And the Nine of Cups is here. With the King of Cups. Have some of you walked away from a situation to go right into a new situation? That's what I'm getting here. Because I get the energy of a, a split. But I'm also getting the energy here of a union. Here is the King and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I asked about the death card. Here's the king and queen of cups out here with the nine of cups and the magician. Somebody here has manifested their, their true match. However, someone here could have been married. With this five of wands being out here, there is some type of conflict, an argument, possibly third party situation, a tower. Okay, someone here is finding out about another situation. And and for, for those of you, if this is resonating with you and it's not like a, this isn't just your typical, just third party situation. This is someone having like a, a full on affair or someone has decided to move towards 
like a, a new soulmate connection. I honestly feel with this emperor and this empress card here, this will represent like divine feminine and divine masculine. I feel like this is a marriage that's here. I feel like this is a marriage here that has suddenly ended. There's a like a divorce here because someone realizes that this king and queen of cups, this emotionally fulfilling connection here is actually wish fulfillment. Someone here I feel is leaving a connection behind, a possibly a marriage to go towards someone new. Or this could be someone leaving just, you know, maybe like a, a karmic relationship going towards their emperor or empress. Yeah, no, for sure. Look at this. <laughs> Page of Wands and the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords is obviously some type of battle. This is someone getting out of a situation or winning by any means necessary. The Page of Wands is someone with their eye on something new. This is... I'm 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 hearing um in the pursuit of happiness. May there may not have been a full plan. You may not know all of the details, but someone had their eye on a situation and decided that they were going for it no matter what. And I feel like this is somebody leaving a situation. The Ten of Swords is here with the Four of Swords here. Okay, someone has been un, in a very unhappy relationship, and honestly, I feel like it's this emperor and this empress that were married there's a person there's a couple here that has been married and i feel like a lot has been invested in this situation but with the death card and the tower card here yeah somebody somebody is moving in a totally different direction they're leaving a connection and going towards another connection this reminds me of libra's reading i don't see libra well yeah you could be dealing with the Libra. Scorpio is out here as well. Heavy Scorpio energy. Wow. The moon, yeah. <laughs> Someone was in the background of a situation here. Mm -hmm. Someone could have been like legally separated or something like that. Dealing with another person and they're now going towards that person. And, and they're serious about another connection. This is literally someone moving out of a very long-term, serious, um, committed relationship, possibly. Look, the World card and the Two of Cups, there is a connection here that's over. There's one connection that's over and another connection that's starting. Look, you see here the Six of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles here. Someone is moving away from a family situation, a marriage, a commitment. Someone feels like they've learned all that they can learn with with whoever this spouse is or this person there's a completion here it's the end of this cycle someone is starting over full moon energy we just you know this full moon in aquarius energy is even lingering right now a lot of things are being you know exposed you can expect the unexpected i feel honestly the unexpected here is there is the ending there is like a divorce here there is a separation of two people, and these two people have a lot invested in this situation. Someone is moving out of a long-term situation, and they're going towards someone else. Yeah, it's happening here in Virgo season with the lover's card being here. Somebody is choosing happiness, and they're leaving someone behind. And I feel like this person has been planning this Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Someone has been in a commitment and they've been planning to go towards another person because they were not emotionally satisfied with the person that they're with. Someone feels like they have met a twin flame or a soulmate. Like I said, this King and Queen of Cups here is a true pair, but this is a connection that was someone feels was divinely guided. It was manifested, but there was another situation that had to end first. Two people here are married. They live together. They have children. They may have a business together. Again, they have a lot that is invested. Someone thought that another person would never move forward. But no, someone met someone else or has had someone else for a very long time. Someone could be finding out that someone has had like a, just there's been a third party situation in the background for a very long time. Someone could have even had a child with a third party person. But regardless, someone is finding out about this situation 
whatever was done in the dark with this hermit car here is now out or it's about to come out and someone is moving away from this situation there definitely could be for some of you of course this won't resonate with everyone there could be a child here a child or two people are destined to have a child but i honestly feel here there's someone was married living with someone or whatever they they fell in love with another person with this lover's card here they knew that they had to make a choice this was a connection that was hidden and i feel like this was something that um it was a hidden path i don't feel like these are two people this king and queen of cups they didn't really go looking for one another or these two people are actually like divine counterparts and the thing that was holding them up the whole time was this other like serious relationship this marriage or whatever Whatever has been done in the dark, though, is coming to light. You have the, the sun and the moon here. And again, someone, um, especially because I just saw the, yeah, this page of cups, there could be an, an unplanned or unexpected pregnancy here. That could also be something that's coming out. Someone could be married and could be actually finding, someone could be finding out that their spouse is having a child with someone else. Yeah. Someone here is going to be very angry and upset moving forward. There could even be some kind of altercation here. Yeah, there could actually be like some type of physical altercation. There's a lot of secrets that are coming out. Secrets about, like I said, a third party situation. Someone could be finding out that someone has actually been providing for another person financially. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't even see this Ace of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune with the um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, some, there, there is a... Um, I'm going to say I, I'm picking up a, a masculine energy. There's a masculine energy here who has been taking care of more than one household. The, I mean, it, it's very, very clear to me. This emperor here has been taking care of this empress. There's kids. There's maybe a family business. Um, the connection overall, it looks great on paper. These two people are really successful. But this emperor has also been taking care of another person and they may even have a child with this other person this is a this is a, a new child this is not I, i'm not picking up this is like an ex wife or baby's you know mother of a child i feel like this is something that's more recent someone you know Now, let, let me clarify this too. Let me say this. Because I know before I was saying someone went towards someone where it was more emotionally fulfilling. I'm not saying necessarily that someone is leaving a marriage going towards like a, a counterpart. But they're going towards someone that they have very deep emotions for. But there is a person here who has been living a bit of a double life. This person... um I feel like this person was already dissatisfied in one connection. And like I said, they manifested another situation. But for somebody here, there is a man who is taking care of two different households. Yeah, two of swords. With the hangman here. Some, there's someone here who was confused for a long time at a crossroads, not really sure in which direction to go. Someone has decided now, though, to go towards their destiny. This emperor energy out here, or it could be the empress, somebody who's in this serious committed relationship where they are unhappy has finally decided. Somebody is filing for divorce or has made a decision that they now are moving forward. They're willing now to strip, strip themselves down of everything. Someone here is no longer mentally conflicted at all about a long-term um, commitment, a marriage. Somewhere in here knows for a sure fact that they want to go in a different direction. And they're going towards this single person. And they could definitely be going towards this other person because I'm telling you, somebody here, you guys, there's a, there's a child somewhere. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but this is a very strong message. Someone is married and has connected with someone else. 
whether it's it's a, a mistress that you want to refer to as a karmic or they've connected with their soulmate divine counterpart someone is has there is a man here who has been taking care of two different women and he's choosing to leave his wife or the person that he has been committed to the longest most likely out of obligation or whatever to go towards someone when i look here even at this queen of this is the queen of pentacles or this queen of cups person it could be any sign though but i'm getting mainly um water and earth this person was single whoever this woman is was single self-sufficient this man here this emperor that somebody is married to most likely i feel has for some gotten this woman pregnant and is now going towards her. Yeah. Eight of Swords. There was a lot of mental conflict here. Someone had no idea, like, what, what do I do about this marriage? Like, there's things that have happened here that, you know would probably be frowned upon someone here you know obviously someone could be really religious or spiritual or whatever but again there's someone is under the covenant of a marriage here and they're choosing to to move away from that because again this king of cups this queen of cups and this page of cups this is another family there is an emperor here with an with an empress okay y'all this is crazy yeah, there's there's a, a person here, an emperor and an empress who has a family and they've probably been together 10 plus years. This is a very stable relationship. However, somebody here has met someone else, has been with someone else. This nine of pentacles, this other person here. And now has this situation, king and queen with the page. And like I said, for, for a lot of people here, there's a baby. And I know I've been saying masculine. There could be a woman leaving her husband doing this. You know, take the story however it resonates, but I'm picking up. Look, look at this. I cannot, the fool card is trying to pop out with the ace of cups card. Underneath that, the strength card. So, yeah, somebody here finally had the strength to just go ahead and go in a new direction. Somebody, I mean, honestly, somebody who just was not happy in a relationship. Or, I mean, it, people do what they want to do, you guys. <laughs> it doesn't matter if a person was happy in the relationship or, or what. whoever here is being left behind. This reminds me so much of the Libra's reading, um, where, and, and I was saying in their reading, where hearts don't break evenly. People will leave behind marriages because what people fail to realize is that sometimes a marriage or a relationship, no matter what you've invested in it, it can be karmic. Karmic does not have to be bad, but spiritually... You can meet a person. You can be with a person for 20 years. Once you've learned all the lessons in that situation, you've learned all of the lessons in that situation. Sometimes spirit will then send you a new person. A lot of people spend a lot of their early years with someone. And, and I get it. It's, it's, a, it's very triggering. It's a hard pill to swallow. You spend a lot of your early years with someone. There's marriage. There's commitment. You think that you're going to have a legacy with that person. Only to find out that it was a karmic situation. And then all of a sudden, you meet someone. Tower. Divine. The divine comes in and puts someone on your path. That you may or may not have actually been manifesting. But this person, this new person on your path is actually there to help you to go through a major transformation in your life. And I said, even in the Libra reading, people, they glorify the idea of having a twin flame until you really get into a twin flame situation. Because the thing about it is, if a twin flame is married, if a person is married and they meet their twin flame, 
in, in real divine counterpart situations, something that is divinely guided by God, spirit, the universe, whatever source you may believe in, that person will leave their marriage to go towards that person. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Somebody here was manifested. This emperor is leaving a marriage, a commitment, changing their beliefs. Somebody here could possibly be very religious. This person is now becoming more spiritual. They are now going towards another connection and this other connection is moving fast. It's almost like, well, this person is living a double life. But honestly, part of this for some is actual divine intervention and alignment. That's why I, I, I tell you guys. People just, my twin flame, my twin flame. Everybody loves and glorifies a twin flame until you find out that you're the karmic husband or wife. And your person leaves you to be with their twin flame and they literally start a life with this person, their twin flame who has been waiting. Somebody here, there's a person that's leaving a family behind to pursue someone that has been living their life a very long time. For some of you, this is somebody coming towards you. You know, I know there's cross watchers. For some of you, this may be you. Maybe you have a twin flame and that person or soulmate, whatever. That person has been married. That person is coming towards you. Let's say you guys, you um, take the story however it resonates for you. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands. What did I just say? Somebody is going towards the person that they want to be with. Just period. Whether you are the Aries and you're leaving someone behind or you're cross watching. And you are anticipating an Aries or someone coming towards you. Somebody is moving ahead with tunnel vision to go towards whoever they see as the love of their life. This was already written. The high priest is here. Someone already knew this. Wow. Yeah. Somebody knew this. This this emperor, this um king of wands here is this same emperor person. Look, this person has been on the edge of their seat, ready to go towards the person that they really want to be with for a long time because they've been unhappy. They've been unhappy in a relationship here in a ten of pentacles situation where they've been trying to make the situation work. Someone has finally decided that this marriage here is over. It's over and they want to go towards the person that is their soulmate. King and Queen of Cups here. This King of Queen of Cups. And they could have a child on the way. For people who are child, you know, the age and want to have children, there is a child here that is a part of the soul, the new soul contract. Two people are supposed to come together and they are supposed to have a child. There's a woman here. There, this is a divine feminine here who has been on her journey for a long time, waiting on her twin flame, waiting on her divine masculine. This divine masculine, though, has been stuck in another situation. Wow. Look, six of cups, three of wands, ships coming in, and then the judgment. Somebody has been waiting on a union to happen. They've been waiting on it juggling trying to hold everything together here's the king of pentacles and the knight of pentacles what do we have here the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles this king of pentacles is coming in it's it's all these different pairs here king and queen of cups queen and king of pentacles this king of pentacles has been in the knight of pentacles energy because again this person has been stuck most likely in what would be like a karmic marriage that's why i'm saying at the very beginning there is an ending and a, a beginning here wrapped up all together somebody is leaving a situation and going towards someone else this king of pentacles has been on the edge of his seat ready to leave this family situation because he has been unhappy constantly trying to fix the situation moving very very slowly but with a plan to go towards this single person here this nine of pentacles this most likely like this divine feminine person here but he's now becoming the king of pentacles what do you have here the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles this divine feminine over here that this person is going towards has been on the journey for too long by herself 
she's been trying to balance and stabilize things but now this union is coming together look at this king and queen of pentacles this this is an equal like couple king and queen of cups wow that cup this is a cup this is a this is a past life soulmate or someone from someone's past they've been waiting there's two people who have been planning and what's funny what's what's interesting i should say for some of you take you know wherever you fall in the story i'm just going to speak on these two people who are coming together for some of you for some these two people have known about each other for for years and they were in a long separation but for some this new connection is not that old I'm telling you, it, it, it came out of nowhere. And someone fell madly in love with someone else. Yeah, someone had their eye on someone for a long time. Or someone just knew on a soul level that they were connected with somebody else. See, I've been talking about these um, new waves of twin flames and soulmates for a while. And I've been saying on this channel, look at this. Look, look, look. Twin flames and control. I just split the deck. There's a twin flame union here. There's two people. There's two twin flames coming into union. Even if that means that they have to leave and divorce someone. Someone is now willing to leave a karmic marriage or family behind to go towards their twin flame. Control. This card says release the need to control situations stagnation there's two twin flames that have been stagnant they've been in separation because someone has been married or committed to someone else there is a karmic person and i you know don't shoot the messenger but there is a karmic marriage here you guys for some of you you really have to watch the libra reading the libra reading pissed a lot of people off but it's true like this is what's happening with all of the things you guys that have been revealed ever since 2020 people who have been in karmic relationships they are ending and when you think about it on the 3d it's like oh well no that's my marriage we have kids together we have a life together but you were not that was not written that you know like you, you can't go against destiny People are realizing that their marriage with, with the person that they thought they would spend forever with, that's not their final destination, and they're mad about it. But again, like I said, when people talk about twin flames, everyone is, I want a twin flame. Twin flame journeys are not easy because a twin flame, once they come across their twin flame here in the 3D, which honestly is, is quite, it, it's not uncommon to meet a twin flame, but to go into union with a twin flame is very rare. This is someone here. This is a, a prediction of union. And these two people who are coming together, anybody in between them has to go. Karmic marriage, whatever. Somebody here will be divorcing, paying child support, alimony, doing whatever they have to do. But they're leaving a family behind to go to start a family with someone else. And I feel like this masculine is going towards someone who is younger than them. Wow. Vibration. Someone's vibration has changed. Yeah. Soulmate. Somebody was in someone. Look at this. Soulmate in denial. Somebody was in a connection for a long time with their soulmate. Their karmic person, their karmic husband, wife, soulmate, there is nothing wrong with that. You, you, you create beautiful memories with a soulmate. But someone here has had repressed emotions. There, someone has always known that they wanted more or that their soul was calling out to something or someone different. Someone's vib energetic vibration has shifted. Fertility is here. 
someone's and you know i said someone honestly could be going from being like really religious to being more spiritual someone has has finally started to wake up is more self-aware and more conscious they're leaving behind the marriage that they, they, they're not concerned anymore about the societal norms and expectations someone i feel is appreciative of i oh my god someone is appreciative of their soulmate whoever their partner is but God, spirit, the divine universe is telling them it's now time for you to unite with your twin flame. This is inevitable. Look, mystery. Someone is going down a new path. Unknown territory. And look at here. Look, I can't make it up. Appreciate karmic partner. What did I say? Someone appreciates their soulmate, but their soulmate was their karmic partner. Their soulmate was their karmic partner. It was a conventional relationship bound by societal conventions and, and norms. Somebody is saying, well, at this point, they're letting go of control issues. They've raised their vibration. This person is now entering unknown territory to be with their twin flame. Wow. Okay. Look, two of wands. Leaving the past behind, answering the call of destiny, moving towards something brand new. Everything is fine. Someone here is is really embracing an ending here. It's a it's a loss, but where these three cups tip over, you see this partnership here. Why? Because someone is going towards their actual divine counterpart, a twin flame union here. Wow. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's so interesting. You don't, I don't see these, um, like unions like this happen that often to see it come out like this, um, really just has me blown completely away. To be honest, some of you could, I'm, I feel strong. Like this really reminds me of Libra's reading for some of you. There's a lot of, um, Scorpio energy out here. I see cancer. I see Virgo. But there's a lot of Scorpio energy out here. It really could be any sign, though. Heavy earth and water. Water, Scorpio especially. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be any sign. But again, you know, you'll know exactly where you fall in the story. I see a person leaving behind a karmic relationship, partnership, marriage, or whatever to go to be with their divine partner. And this divine partnership, th this is a, a new cycle that's starting and there is absolutely supposed to be a child or the birth of something. These two people have a divine plan and mission. They may not even be aware of what it is right now because we have the mystery card they may not have any idea why the two of them are being brought together, but there are two people being brought together by the divine for a divine plan. Like I said in Libra's readings, hearts don't break evenly because someone is definitely being left behind here. And if you are the person that is about to go in you into union, I you know, I don't there's no point in trying to bash the karmic person but these situations can make a lot of people uncomfortable you know nobody wants to lose their their partner whether it's a soulmate a twin flame conventional or whatever nobody really wants to go through that but that that's the reality of these situations that's what's happening here you know if, if you if you really believe in twin flames and soulmates if you even think about watching the movie the notebook, which most people have seen, when the two of them came together, they both had to leave somebody behind. And that's the season that we're in right now, you guys. There's divine partnerships coming together. People are being forced to get into mission. So whoever you are in the situation, you know, I really feel if your person leaves you to be with somebody else, you should see that as your chance and opportunity to finally be with the person that you're meant to be with. It's all about your perspective and the situation. Wow. Aries, that has been your reading. Um, 
I would recommend for some of you, um, maybe you have Libra in your chart or um, you're dealing with someone who is a Libra or has a lot of Libra in their chart, check out the Libra reading. Very, very, very similar energies. Very similar. Um, and these are the only two readings that I'm getting their storyline so far. So there's definitely some type of connection. Um, or maybe this is something that may actually happen in Libra season. Libra is also just a card of justice. Um, the divine feminine, the empress also represents Libra and Taurus energy. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of different connections there. But anyway, you guys, I really hope that this provided you with a bit of clarity and insight um, about your situations right now. Congratulations to those of you who are coming into union and, you know, I'm, I'm sending you all peace, love and light because I know that although this is a very beautiful situation, um, it has its, its pain too. There's, there's the, the good side and the bad side of this situation, but endings do bring about new beginnings. And though it's hard to accept, it's, it's necessary. That's, just a cycle of life, honestly. So anyway, I love you guys and I will see you on the next reading. Bye.